Yep. We're going to see how well Seth can back this truck up. We don't teach that on this channel. But take a look here. We've got a, a, lot, of, a lot of stuff on a trailer. Let's see how he's doing. Is he feeling the pressure? Let's look at it from here. Did we make it? We didn't knock anything over, did we? If I say we, I mean you. I've got the easy job. I'm just side seat driving. Watch where you're going. Slow down. We there yet? I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm Jim and that's Seth. We're with Carolina Barn Builders and Advanced Timber. Carolina Barn Builders, Advanced Timber. We are going to a, what's this? A 24 by 24 pavilion? 18. By 18 24. by 24 pavilion. So one of the things that I'm talking to you guys a lot about is the benefit of stepping outside of the your day in day out offering a deck a patio service to your clientele and looking at the things that are going to allow you for an upsell and not just any upsell we're talking a, a pretty major upsell this is a fifty five thousand dollar upsell for this uh, particular client it's um it's a pool pavilion uh, 18 by 24 all timber frame everything we make is timber frame so adding that to your your toolbox your sales kit allows you to come in build the pool build the deck build the patio but then what can you do you can offer a standard pressure treated big box store build it yourself uh, pavilion or you can really reach and do something more artistic something that's going to stand out to your client and give them something that is going to make them the eye, the envy of the neighborhood. And that's what Timber Frame does. You know, it's it's more intimidating because it's harder to find real Timber Frame uh, kits out there. And that's what we build. We build manufactured Timber Frame kits and we deliver them to general contractors, deck builders, homeowners to install. We do offer some installation service, services locally, this one, is just uh, two miles, three miles down the street from the shop. But this project is something that every deck builder should be considering as an option for their customers. You don't get a no unless you offer. And if you offer, oftentimes you'll find there's a yes behind that, that they did not know they could have something or didn't know anyone in the area did it. And that's, that's what really, delivers value to your customers and really sets your company apart from the guy down the street that maybe is doing a value build, but not everyone is is driven by value. They want, and value is something you can interpret. It could be, what do you get for your money? The value in us is you get a super high-end project, a super high-end quality build that is going to last for decades and decades and decades. Uh, dare I say even centuries uh, when it's maintained but it also gives your customer something that they can be proud of that the neighbor doesn't have and, they, and it's the first in the neighborhood so we're going to walk you through the whole project it's a great customer down here I'll probably shove a camera in his face a couple times and you know he'll he'll give us a run for our money I'm sure so but we're just delivering today uh, we'll walk you through the process from start to finish so so one of the best uses for an outdoor pavilion is a pool i mean who wouldn't want a nice big structure to shade their uh poolside cabana and that's what we're doing here they've got a brand new pool they put in um going to be a beautiful backyard one of the biggest components outside of the pool because the pool steals the show well it was stealing the show for the backyard is what do you do for entertainment and that's where this pavilion comes in. So, we are going to figure out, figure out how to navigate this gate and show you a little bit about what we got going on here. So, how's it going?
right, so one of the most important parts after you've unloaded the truck is to make sure you've unloaded it properly. Now, this isn't a big job. Most pavilions are a dozen and a half pieces, so it isn't like you've got a lot of site management to do, but you do want to make sure you can get to everything. You also want to make sure you stage it in an area that you're not going to build it. So unlike two by four construction, all this is built and assembled on the ground, and then we stand it up with the equipment. So the heavy lifting is done by the machines, and then the assembly is done by, by the carpenters. So we left ourselves a nice area here to build these bents, build each section. Each section is called a bent. That's gonna get assembled, and it's gonna take up, if it's a 24 foot wide truss, we need 24 foot wide. If the height of the ridge is 18 feet, 20 feet, 24 feet, then we need to make sure we have that dimension available to us on the ground. Now there's also some things you need to make sure you can move your equipment around properly so you can pick and pull, lift and place the, the uh, bend. But we'll go over that once we start staging. But pickets, pickets need to be in line. So you see there's a picket, a picket, and a picket on the bottom. And the same thing here, you can't see it underneath, but there's a picket underneath, picket, picket, picket. Everything's neat, and straight, and easy to get to. So that's the main thing. You wanna make sure you, you unload and stack your, your material properly so you're not fighting for space, find out something you need is in the back, you don't have room to pick your bent up and place it on the pad because you put it in the way of your machine, little things like that. But we'll go over all that on Monday when we start sorting this out. But it's gonna be a great job, guys. Very simple, you're gonna learn a lot about how simple this type of construction is, but how different it is from two by four construction. So, talk to you soon. So yeah, so maybe not too cool, but we're gonna show you a little bit of what we're comparing ourselves to here. So there's a little pavilion right there. That's nice, it definitely gets the job done. But when you can But when you see what this pavilion is gonna look like, you'll see the difference between a timber frame pavilion, outdoor kitchen, porch, whatever you, whatever you wanna call it, and uh, something the big box store supplies you, some four by fours or six by sixes. Uh, major difference, major difference.